Toyota launches a new model. So when the biggest car company in Australia takes on a new corner of the market, it's clearly going to be a big deal. Toyota says the new CHR is vital to shifting perceptions around the brand, and that's why it's unlike any Toyota you've seen before. The CHR is Toyota's answer to the Mazda CX-3, Honda HRV, and Renault Capture. Unlike those machines, which are based on the Mazda 2, Honda Jazz, and Renault Clio, the CHR is an all-new machine that has just a little in common with the latest Toyota Prius. But Australia misses out on the hybrid version of the CHR. Instead, our models are powered by a new 1.2-litre four-cylinder turbo engine that makes 85 kilowatts and 185 newton metres. It's fitted with front-wheel drive and a manual transmission as standard, but you can get a CVT Auto for another $2,000 and all-wheel drive for $2,000 beyond that. Priced from $26,990 plus on-road costs in entry-level form, the CHR is dearer than most rivals, but it makes up for that with strong standard equipment including sat-nav, a reversing camera, autonomous emergency braking and active cruise control across the range. CHR is also the first Toyota to use this new 1.2 litre engine, but it will not be the last. Now, you may not think that 85 kilowatts sounds like a lot of power, and you'd be right. Just accelerating now in the automatic version with the CVT, it really does take a little while to get going. It doesn't feel like a particularly strong engine, and you really notice that around town as well. It doesn't have the sort of step off that you might expect from a, such a sporty looking car. The model that we're driving right now has two things working against it. It has the CVT automatic transmission and it also has optional all-wheel drive. You don't need all-wheel drive in the CHR. It's not the sort of car that you're going to take off-road and it really doesn't have the sort of power that will trouble the front wheels. It will get on fine with front wheel drive. The engine does take its time getting up to highway speed but once you're there it's fairly impressive. It's very quiet, quite refined and that's helped by this cabin architecture here. This is a car that is pretty quiet on the road, more so I'd say than the Mazda CX-3 and just generally fairly well sorted. The cabin here is an interesting place to be. You've got this two-tone leather dash combination going on with some chocolate brown surfaces up top and piano black and then some black leather down below which is interesting to see. I have to say that I'm not a massive fan of the touchscreen unit here. It does look fairly aftermarket. It's a doubled in style stereo that's just been slotted in which means that it's easy to upgrade and it means that Toyota can upgrade the car in the future and add technology as it emerges but it's not really on the pace where it should be right now. I think for 27 grand and upwards in a car like this you should be expecting things like Apple CarPlay in the car you're not getting them. The sport seats in the car feel quite supportive and comfortable and the new steering wheel is well shaped and sized as well although I think the steering wheel should have paddle shifters particularly for an automatic car one that has a bit of a sporting personality to it as well. The rear seat is a little bit tight and the model's swooping lines mean that the rear windows are just a bit difficult to see out of. The CHR for me offers fairly strong value and I have to say that I'm a fan of the strong standard safety equipment that the Toyota has loaded up the car with. You've got autonomous emergency braking, you've got active cruise control, rear cross traffic alert, blind spot monitoring, all of that standard across the range. That is excellent to see and I think Toyota should be commended for that. Now Toyota is persisting with a three year warranty for the CHR, but an important change for this model is that it has dropped the six month service intervals that are common across most of its lineup in favor of 12 month servicing, capped at less than $200 per service. So you know that it's going to be cheap to run and you also only have to take it to the dealership once a year. That's much better than a Corolla in which you're going twice a year. Our first impressions of the CHR are quite strong. It looks great both inside and out. It's well finished and you certainly do get a lot of equipment for your money. While the engine performance is a little questionable, it does come with better ownership credentials than we've seen from Toyota in the past. This Toyota certainly is unlike anything else in the brand's lineup. The CHR promises to be a hit for Toyota, but there's a catch. The car has proved so popular overseas that Toyota can't get enough supply to meet Australian demand. There's likely to be a waiting list for the model, and some customers might even miss out this year. The new CHR is on sale now, and it certainly looks to be a big deal.